Hello, and welcome to the Technology Group's training video for the Yay Link T42G. In this video, we are going to show you the five main feature groups of your new handset. These are displayed here, and you can simply click to jump to the appropriate section. The full video is around 10 minutes long. Enter the phone number you wish to dial. The number will display on your screen. You can then pick up the receiver or press the send key to start the call. If preferred, you can pick up the receiver and then enter the number pressing the send or hash key to initiate the call when you are ready. For hands-free calling, simply enter the number you wish to call and then push the send key. This will dial the call on hands-free immediately. Once the call has been answered, you can continue on hands-free, or you can simply lift the receiver to talk in the conventional way. When on hands-free, to end the call, if the person does not answer, press the speaker key. Your new handset also has a redial key that can be used to access the calls that you have placed, missed, or received. You can use the navigation keys to select the number on the screen, followed by the send key, to quickly call someone you have already engaged with. To access the company phone book, press the free CX phone book soft key at the bottom on the telephone screen, followed by the search key. You can now use the alphanumeric keys on the phone to enter the letters of the person you're trying to reach. A quicker and easier way to utilize the phone book is via the FreeCX desktop app or web app, which everyone has access to. Please see our separate FreeCX app videos for further details. Receiving a call is equally as simple and can be answered by lifting the receiver. No button pressing is required. When the handset is ringing, if you want to pick up the call on hands-free, you can push the speaker button. Or, if you want to answer on your headset, you can push the marked headset button. To end the call, simply place the receiver back in the cradle, or press the end key on screen. To pick up a call from a colleague's phone, then simply press their flashing key, or press the dedicated pickup button if your handset has been configured as such. If you find the volume needs adjusting at any stage of a call, simply press the volume keys accordingly. They can also be used whilst the phone is idle to adjust the volume of the ringtone. Your Yealink T42G has a dedicated hold button that you simply press to place a call on hold and press again to take the call off hold. While a call is on hold, you can place the receiver back on the cradle or leave it on your desk. If you would like to make another call whilst keeping the first call on hold, then you can do so by selecting the second line on your handset. You can then juggle between the two calls by selecting the appropriate line key. As you can see, the line on hold is indicated by the slowly flashing key next to it. An alternative to placing a call on hold is to mute a call. This can be done by pressing the mute button whilst on an active call. However, be warned that when you mute a call, the other party does not hear any music or message on hold, so they may fear that the call has been disconnected if mute is used for too long a period. An easy way to practice the hold and mute functions for yourself is to call your mobile from your handset and follow the above steps. That way you can also understand what a caller will hear when you place a call on hold or mute. Transferring a call is the most common fear amongst those who begin using a new or different handset. So do not worry and feel free to watch and pause the video as many times as you need. We are confident that you will find it a simple process that is easily mastered with a little practice. Firstly, be aware that there are two ways to transfer a call. These we will refer to as a blind and an intended transfer. 
we are going to cover both types step by step. A blind transfer is when you transfer a call straight through without first talking to the person you are transferring to. This is often how a receptionist or small team will transfer. To transfer a call in this manner, you follow these easy steps. Whilst on a call, first press the transfer button on the handset and then enter the extension number of the person you want to transfer the call to. This can be an internal extension number, a group or queue number or an external number. Once the number has been entered and you are happy it is correct, then simply press the transfer button. If you have a soft key set for the destination you wish to transfer to, then simply press the transfer key followed by the soft key of the destination. An attended transfer is when you first talk with the destination party before transferring the call. This is often used when screening calls or when information about the call first needs to be relayed to the destination party. To transfer a call in this manner, you follow these easy steps. First, press the transfer soft key that is located on the bottom left of the phone screen. Then, enter the telephone number or extension number of the person you wish to speak to first. Once the number has been entered and you are happy it is correct, then simply press the send key and the call will be initiated. At this time, the person you initially spoke to will be placed on hold and they will be listening to your company music or message on hold. Once you have finished speaking with the destination party and you are ready to transfer the call, simply hang up to transfer. If, after beginning an attended transfer, you find that the destination extension does not answer or does not want to take the call, then simply press cancel, followed by the flashing line key. The methods described here are the default methods in which we configure our systems. However, we can tailor certain options to suit your needs, so please speak with our support team if the methods here are not what is required or expected. Voicemail is available as an option for all users. By default, we do not apply a PIN number to use your voicemail. However, please speak to your system administrator if you would like to enable this option. Missed calls will be sent to voicemail after a defined ringing period, which by default is around 20 seconds. However, this can be easily adjusted. Calls will also be sent to voicemail immediately if you enable Do Not Disturb on your handset. This is easily toggled using the DND button on your handset. You can conveniently adjust your handset and call behavior by changing the status of your extension using the on-screen FreeCX desktop app or web app. Please see our separate FreeCX app videos for details on this. You will be aware you have a voicemail message when the red light is flashing or you have a voicemail symbol on your display. To listen to the voicemail, simply press the dedicated voicemail message button to retrieve any voicemails you have. You can also press the voicemail message key to record and manage your personal greetings. Thank you for watching. To revisit any sections, please click on the links on screen. If you still have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our support using the details on screen now.